This is the ViFly Finder 2, and we will be adding this to our freestyle build. I will walk you through how to install this to your flight controller, and how to set it up in Betaflight, and we will do a field test. Let's go. Okay, so before we begin, basically how the ViFly Finder works as installation is you're basically just going to use the cable that came with the ViFly Finder. You're just going to plug it in and we're going to solder the rest to the flight controller. And we can see that the black one they are using as ground. So it's like this side is your button. So it's look like looking like this. So ground, five volts and your buzz negative. So on these flight on this particular flight controller we can see right here that this is going to be your ground so the black one goes here the red one goes to the fight volt and the b minus is your b your bus minus okay let's begin the installation same drill we're going to start by pre-tuning the cables and the solder pads the cable onto the pad okay done twist it okay it's gonna plug it in okay we can test this it should work Okay, so we are going to connect our quad to beta flight. And you're gonna, of course, you are gonna plug it in with the USB cable. And then we are going to connect. And we are going to go to the, I believe this is on actually the most tab. At most tab, you're gonna scroll down, you're gonna set up your beeper. So it should be like this and you are going to set up your beeper and you're going to add range and the next step because this particular quad will require us to plug in the battery for our radio receiver and everything to work we are going to plug in the lipo okay, once it's powered on we can begin the setting next we're going to bring on our radio and we're going to set the perimeters to be so this particular button to be controlled by our aux 4 aux 4 which is going to be my sc button so when i flip it to the top actually it's already working we're going to set it to aux 4 and we are just going to pull the perimeters to right here so when we flip it, it's going to beep. Okay. Alright, this is a successful setup. We're going to save it and we are done. Next, we're going to demo the basic function so you know how it works. We're going to plug in the LiPo as usual. First is the one you already saw. Basically, when you flip a switch on your radio, hard to fit everything in but when you flip a switch okay it's going to start beeping and when you kill it it's going to stop the beeping and the next is when your quad loses battery power so when we unplug it it's going to start beeping itself to shut it off what you have to do is you are going to short press the button right here and it's going to stop the next function will be blue light flashing when it detects low light. Let's do a quick demo to see if it works. Okay. So I'm going to plug in a battery and I'm going to unplug it to activate the beeper. And I'm going to shut down all the lights to see if it actually flashes blue light. Can see it started flashing blue light okay this wraps us up this video as of how to add the ViFly beeper to your flight controller and if you have additional questions please feel free to leave a comment or email me or join my discord server and i will see you next time bye for now